Funky, funky, funky. Zach, radio check. Yo, 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 what's good? It's your brother Breezy Brainstorm, and we here with episode 169 of the Hip Hop Riff of the Week. This week, I come to you with verses from the abstract Tribe Called Quest. This is one of my favorite hip hop bass sounds of all time. Ron Carter, famous jazz bassist on the bass. You know, I'm a jazz head, grew up a jazz head and a hip hop head equally. And this is one of those bass lines and songs that got me wanting to play the bass in the first place, honestly. I was like, all right, when I get a bass, this is one of them ones. And here we are, many years later, actually dissecting it and really going over the mistakes I made when I first learned it. But it did give me a lot of ear training, which is really important, you know, because I didn't know what I know now, of course. But it helped me train my ear because this bass line is live. So there's variation, there's a motif, then there's variations throughout because this bass line is played live. So with this riff in F sharp minor, we are going to go through the main motif and then I'm gonna show you three different, I guess, improv parts of the song, that my favorite parts. Some, I have more favorite parts, but I just picked three out for you guys just so when you're playing that you have some options to um, mess around, but we're gonna go over the, the main part first, which is in F sharp minor. So before we get into this riff, I'm gonna need y'all to like and subscribe and definitely click the link in the description because in that description box area is a form that you should fill out if you have riffs you want to learn. And I checked this list and I checked it twice. And I'm gonna find out if the songs you picked are nice and I will learn to play them real soon. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Check out the music, stream the music, run them streams up. You know, we got the Cash App and the PayPal, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Much appreciate y'all and cop some merch as well. Much appreciated. Just click that link in the description and get busy. So now, back to the riff. This riff is in the key of F sharp minor. The first note is F sharp. The lowest F sharp you got. So we're gonna go from F sharp to A. It's an F sharp minor, so F sharp to A. And we're using the open string A. That way we can use our index finger to use F sharp, open string A, ring finger to hit C sharp. So we're going first, third, fifth, and index finger to B. That's the fourth. So we got, now from there, we index finger, second fret on the D string, E. Now we stay on this fret to come back down. E, B, F. Then open A to B. And that's essentially the motif. That is what repeats on the first half of pretty much every um, stanza of the bass line. Sometimes it's played twice. And other times the second half of the stanza is some improvisation. So this is essentially the root of the riff. That is the main motif. So in between uh, that motif, there's some some fire, classic Ron Carter freestyle. And I, this is actually a great jazz song to practice your transcription, your bass transcriptions, because you're getting some jazz bass in hip hop form. And if you've ever try to you know learn how to play jazz bass they tell you to listen and transcribe great musicians and this is a, a a secret back door to getting a solid transcription piece to a great legendary jazz bassist ron carter he's my favorite jazz bassist honestly of course i'm from philly we got christian mcbride and all that but ron carter is that one for me um 
Yeah, so that's why I was also very excited. This might actually have been one of the songs that made me a Ron Carter fan before I even knew it because, you know, it's Tribe. So variation one I'm going to show you is this one. Listen up. When I heard that, I was like, we got to figure this one out. So what you're doing is once you. Come off that B, we're going all the way up to. Three, five, seven, the ninth fret G string, which is E. Going down to D sharp, going down the D. Now we're on this ninth fret, I'm using my ring finger to roll off of the following three strings. This is gonna take some practice. You, depending on the size of your finger, you have to know exactly where to place your finger in order to get a solid roll that doesn't mute strings or cause fret buzz. Trust me, I've practiced this over many, many years and still have to practice it some more because in different situations and different angles, you might, you know, have to put in that work. So, so once you roll that, um, those notes are, they're all on the, the ninth fret. So G string, D string, A string. That's, uh, E, B, F sharp. And then it goes down a whole step to E, the E on the seventh fret. Now, as you recall, the first note in this riff is F sharp, and we just played E. So you can play, in fact, he does in the song, go back up that whole step to play that F sharp. Now, once you play that F sharp on the ninth fret, let go, you can play open A and shift your hand back down to the fourth fret. See how that works? That is the beauty of open strings. Being a self-taught musician, I definitely slept on playing open strings. This past few years were the years where I said, you know what? I've been focusing on all my weaknesses and open strings was one of them. Now I'm a, I'm a open string fan. Give them to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So great open string. I'll look for them now. So we got, and then you can still play. You know what I mean? So that's one um, variation. Second variation is what I call fluctuates the diction. And if you heard the song, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the second variation is. Oh yeah. So what this riff is, is literally just an A major triad. Amazing, right? Things are so simple because it's just fire jazz displayed on hip hop stuff. So anyway, that's an E on the second fret of the D string, then the open A that we've been playing, and then C sharp, fourth fret, A string. And we're just alternating between E, A, and C sharp. Now start off slow because you're gonna have to catch the rhythm so you don't accidentally do, you know, weird stuff. So it's. That's the second one. And you'll know exactly what part it is in the song. So that's fluctuating the diction. <laughs> the third one is a simple. Um, octave movement, an octave chromatic movement. I'll show you that one. What 
what that is is E on the seventh fret and then the octave. I'm using my pinky um, two frets up and two strings lower. And then going back down to C sharp, up to D, then D sharp. Or you can go. That was my dog. I don't know if y'all heard that. <laughs> so basically, that's it. Um, y'all got the gist of it. When you have the main riff, you can use these three improv parts to, you know, work your way through. There's a lot more. Like, those are just three of many. It's almost like every other second half of the the bar is an improv and it's fire and I highly suggest you to go through and transcribe as many as you can. I only gave you three cause we'd be here all day going through every single one. I know I got them all tabbed out. You'll be getting the tab soon. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys one of my favorite hip hop songs. This is like one of my favorite tribe songs. One of my favorite tribe bass lines um, of all time um, from, from the very beginning of my hip hop days. So, um, yeah, it's a pleasure and honor for me to, you know, do this for a tribe and, you know, rest in peace, Fife Dog, all that great stuff. Um, shout out to them. And um, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all. Peace. Oh, you know.